Hey everybody, so uh, this video is about a Hotec 2 inch feel flattener that I bought from Agena Astro. Uh, it's for uh, F5 to F8 refractors. It has the uh, compression fitting uh, T adapter or nose piece um, that is self centering if you're using a compression ring uh, type of setup in your imaging train. Um, however, I am not, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to. Uh, remove that nose piece and get rid of that uh, compression fitting because uh, just seen a lot of negative, uh, you know, things about it that, it, you know, the rubber rings are getting, they get stuck. Uh, they just kind of get ripped up and I, I don't trust them. I, I like to have my imaging train completely threaded. The, um, I did have this apart and I'll show you. Um, right now I have it back together so I can kind of show you what I did. off to the side so a couple things that you're gonna need to uh, make this go a little easier is you know I have some rubber straps these ones are cheap I bought years ago at Harbor Freight uh, I'm sure there's better ones out there uh, but they did work so uh, you'll need those I do have some extra uh, extra uh, extension tubes and a little M48 to M42 adapter, which uh, did help for one part of this process. And then uh, some super solvent that I bought. Uh, this, I got at uh, Satellite City. There's some CA glues that they sell, and this was just part of a kit. And um, I tried this as uh, actually a last resort and it worked beautifully and I wish I just did that right off the get-go because I tried a heat gun, tried heating things up because the parts are glued. The threads are glued together. Uh, uh, heat did not soften the glue up, so uh, I kind of struggled a little bit. But anyway, let's get into it and I'll kind of show you uh, how I did. So when you get your fuel flattener, take it out of here. So... This is the field flattener. This is what it looks like. Um, so this is the compression part that I was telling you about. So there are the threads that you can thread into your imaging train. They are an M42. Uh, so the, this little adapter does thread into there um, but like I said I wanted to remove this whole piece so how this works is it's supposed to be self-centering you take this and you turn it and what it does is it kind of squashes those those rubber uh, I don't know rings or whatever you want to call them and uh, that's how it fits itself into your your uh, compression rings but I heard that they get snagged and everything else and then you just kind of end up tearing them up and I don't, I don't trust them. I just don't trust it that it's going to be in there and be a really solid connection. <clears throat> okay, so to start this project, um, what you're first going to want to do is take these rubber uh, O-rings off. So just kind of loosen, loosen this piece up so you get a little bit of more play and everything. And then just take this, get something underneath it pop these off of here and then you just kind of toss those off to the side so then what to do is this this ring here that compresses those you're going to want to tighten that all the way in so these little collars are everything's just going to slide slide forward so you're going to want to tighten that up till you can't tighten it anymore because so which is about right there and then what i did was i took the uh these rubber straps and i've already done this i have already had this apart so i'm just uh so things are a little bit looser or a lot looser now than they were um, but anyway, you'll get the kind of the gist of how to perform this. So you're going to take one ratchet strap, put it on this, uh, rough surface here on this collar, 
you're going to take another ratchet strap and you're going to put it on this piece here. And then what you're doing is basically you're going to loosen. And this, this was uh, pretty hard because, like I said, everything is, is glued together. Um, so you're going to want to just give it all you got. And then what you're going to, it will, it should break free. Um, if it doesn't, you can start to use the solvent, but I didn't have to use any type of solvent, um, to break that glue free, um, to get it off to this point. So, so now of course in the video, this came apart the way I wish it came apart in the first place. So this is exactly how you want it so that you have the proper threads to be able to have the m48 on this side that you can uh you know thread into your onto your telescope side um but however mayan didn't come apart that way this little collar was on the nose piece so let me show you how to get that off if that's the way yours comes apart but if it comes apart like this with that little collar there with the little notch on it uh, attached to the uh, the flattener, you're done. Congratulations. All right, so once you uh, are able to get, at least the way mine had come apart is now I have the, the glass is in here. So the flattener is in this piece here. And then this is what I was left with. Now the size of this thread in here is, um, it's not an M48. I am not exactly sure what it is, but what you need is this piece. So this adapter here, this is what has uh, an M42, or I'm sorry, <clears throat> an M48 size thread on it is on the other side, on the inside of this little collar. Um, so this, I needed to get off. And this was a chore. I could not get it off because it just kept slipping. It, uh, um, it just didn't want to come off because of the glue. Um, and it was glued pretty well. So to this point, I got without using any of the solvent. So... Um, I actually forgot I even had any type of a, a super glue solvent. So what I was trying to do is I was using um, my heat gun and I was trying to heat it up and try to soften that glue. Um, that did not work. Maybe it'll work for you. You could try it. It's worth a shot, um, but it didn't work for me. So what I uh, then tried to do was, uh, you know, just kind of strong arm it to to break it free and that that didn't work either um it was really hard to use those rubber the rubber straps because really the only part you can you can grab onto is this piece and it's very thin and these collars just kind of spin around on you so it was really hard to get any type of a grip um i tried you know holding on to the this rough uh threaded collar um and and try to get on here as well but it, it it's the pieces are kind of small um and it just didn't didn't go very well it just i wasn't getting nowhere with it um and then actually it was uh that later that night when i was laying in bed i remembered that solvent that i had so i figured hell it was worth the shot um so what i did was uh and then here this is the solvent again so this is what it is it's just called super solvent from uh, golden west but I got it from Satellite City with my CA glues. Um, I just took a, a couple drops and I, I dropped it in here. Let me see if I could. So you see where that little notch is? So uh, I dropped, I put a couple drops in there and just kind of spun this around, put another couple drops and I let it sit for, I, I don't even know if it was maybe a minute, if that, it was not long. Um, the stuff literally just seeped its way down in there. And I just grabbed it with, with some uh, gloves and just gave it a really hard turn. And it popped free. I had wish I had thought of that uh, earlier because I was struggling with this thing for probably about a good hour. And just nothing was working with the heat or just trying to strong arm it. So um, I would get yourself some of that. But uh, So anyway, now that that is off, 
this is the piece you need. So this side of this thread will uh, thread into your flattener. And then this side here has your M48 thread. And that's it. So um, you're going to have some glue that's in these threads. And all I did again was I just used this stuff here. I just put a couple drops on it. Um, had an old rag and just uh, rubbed it around and uh, just cleaned them up as best I could. I even used an old toothbrush just to kind of scrub at it a little bit. So I cleaned all the glue off all the threads. And uh, so anyway, now this threads right onto there. And then if you take off your cap on this side, this has the M42 threads. And this side has now an M48 thread. And then, I don't know, you can take this and throw it in the garbage or whatever, whatever you want to do. Um, I kind of keep mine. I don't throw anything out. Um, I just keep things around just in case I ever decide to, uh, I don't know, go back. Maybe I'll sell this in a couple of years. I, you know, who knows? Um, but anyway, so here's a M48 extension tube. And as you see, you know, that just threads right on. And, you know, I could attach this now to uh, however I need to, to my, my scope. Um, but yeah, now it's going to work great. Um, so this now, um, being that you've been wrenching on it, I, if you're going to save yours like mine and, you know, kind of get it working again, this piece from you, uh, trying to break this free, you're going to end up really tightening this thing down and it's going to, you're going to have a hard time trying to loosen it back up. Um, however, I was able to get mine free. Um, and how I did that was. Um, that was when I had to use this. So what I did was, because uh, again, it's really nowhere to really grab on this to try to get this to break free. So I thought to myself, well, maybe I could somehow get my extension tube to to uh, have something a little bit more to grip on. Um, so what I did was, and being that this is an M48 thread, this is M42 to M48 adapter. I just took this and I threaded it in. And all I'm using this as is a stop collar, basically, because um, if not, this piece will thread so far in to this that you're basically putting it right up against the inside of this, and you won't be able to back this out at all because you need to you need to spin this this way. Um, so anyway, threaded that in just a little bit, uh, maybe about an eighth of an inch or so, and then what I did was threaded that on there because now this will only thread in so far and then now that's tight and then just basically that gave me enough enough to grip and I was able to uh, break this free to be able to spin this back so now everything is you know functioning the way it was intended and then you could just take all your your rubber gaskets or whatever you know throw them back on there and throw it in a drawer um, but yeah, so anyway, that's kind of wraps up this video. Uh, again, the two inch Hotec field flattener. So yeah, this, again, this is the, how you, how this should look. You have this little collar on there now and you should be good to go. I'll wrap this up. Uh, anyway, I hope this video helps somebody. Um, if you get into a situation like I did and, you know, you bought this and uh, you wanted to have this, a smaller, uh, you know, setup for, for the how the flattener attaches to the scope and you didn't want to use those compression self-centering rings, um, this is how you do it. So I uh, hope this helps somebody and uh, thanks for watching.